Do you feel amazing when you see this kind of scene? Oh, this one, for example, with that crowd fancy simulation, man, I love it. And do you ever wonder what if I can do it at my home, with my own PC, without big fancy studio? In today's video, I will show you how we can glue this crowd simulation to the RBD object, for example, a dragon or a rope like this. Let's do it. Hi guys, this is Dyson, glad to be here. Okay, we are getting closer to this simulation as we promised. In today's video, we, go, we are going to demonstrate how we can uh, pin or glue this crowd simulation to the RBD object, for example, a sphere, that might be a dragon, for example. Okay, as I promised, we are achieving this step by step. So, let's do it. Okay, first let's create our default mocap biped here. Okay, I choose this version 3. And this is our model. You see that we don't have any animation. Let's uh, have a run, for instance. Okay, that's good for our situation. And nice. Now let's go here to the crowd and let's create an agent from character rig and let's select that and let's have a name for our clip run for instance and voila we have these uh, nodes here let's delete this default node we're not going to need that and yeah let's begin we have this clip loaded here and first let's create our collision shape that's a typical stuff i have a mini tutorial uh, for that by the way and let me select manipulate tools and let me select uh, these dots here a few moments later okay we have this uh, cylinder shape it represent our uh, collision shape here okay now let's create agent configure joint for uh, configure our uh, joint limitation as you can see with this handle um, by the way i have a tutorial here for that okay and we are uh, configuring this uh, joint limitation you need that and yeah a few moments later okay we have our necessary attributes here as a constraint and name or type and now we are going to create our crowd source here okay to instantiate this agent nice and we have this run clip and now let's uh, simulate that uh, using this shelf tools with selecting this run and ragdoll clip and we have uh, this no setup already and you see we are importing the DOP network let me show you the DOP network here and that's the typical and that's the first step okay now we have this crowd source as you can see okay now what if I want to have a circle uh, formatting or arrange here we're going to use this input and let's create a circle for instance okay that's not bad let me change uh, the alignment here okay let me uh, have a bigger circle here and as you can see we have this uh, agent let me create a add node and delete the polygon and keep the point as you can see because we we need just this point okay let me show you here okay we have this agent nice that's awesome okay what if i need those this agent to uh, point or look at each other to the center point okay we need to uh, have a normal vector here let me show you something let's as a matter of fact let me delete this one and instead let me 
uh, use uh, the fact node here okay and uh, let's enable the normal vector and as you can see we have the normal vector pointing towards the down and you see that that's what agent will uh, look at towards the uh, normal vector okay let me adjust this normal vector here using uh, attribute vector adjustment you see that we are changing the direction of the normal map and the agent it's respect our vector here okay you see that and let me delete that and what if i use this poly frame here i found that this is a so handy node let me show you the tangent of this uh, attribute and as you can see what we need that tangent it's doing okay for us and let me promote or copy that tangent attribute to the uh, normal vector using this attribute copy let me choose the tangent and choose a new name and let's set that to the normal as you can see normal vector it's uh, pointing to the center of this circle and voila that's nice as you can see okay and let me enable this add node to delete the polygon and that's nice okay if you enjoyed this kind of video please hit the like button and subscribe for more content okay let's keep going as you can see we have this crowd uh, when we going to uh, the DOP network our uh, normal map it's messed up why is that because we have this initial velocity let's reset that to zero and everything works fine now you see that and let's have a ragdoll initial state and we have this ragdoll at the beginning let's uh, create our ground plane here okay that's nice let's play okay we have something going on here <laughs> now let's fix that by going to this constraint node and enable this pin to shape here and everything's working now okay that's nice and now let's go here and create a sphere for instance uh, let's create sphere okay let me scale this up and break it here okay that's nice let's create transform node to adjusting the position and the null for pointing uh, this object to the dop network okay let's have a name let's go to dop network let's create a merge here and now let's create rbd object okay and let's connect it here and let's in a uh, sorry select our sphere here and as you can see we have this scene set up let me adjust this ground plane here okay and i want to make sure this rbd object is working and active let me have a some velocity here okay we have uh, something going on with the sphere simulation and that's nice okay we have this sphere and we're going to use this one to pin the crowds to. Okay, now we have this crowd as you can see. These are the ragdoll phase here or the state here. And that's because we have this constraint node. Let me show you here. Okay we are importing this constraint by this constraint network here from this output okay you see that we have all the necessary attribute and we have uh, we are importing the pin type or pin uh, constraint here let me show you what i mean with pin uh, constraint let me have a test ragdoll here and let me show you what we have as you can see we have this one and this is the uh, pieces and the pin constraint is holding these pieces together as you can see you see that 
because we have this pin uh, constraint, uh, we have uh, we're holding these pieces together. And uh, another constraint is con twist here. That's because we set up this uh, joint rotation limit, as you can see. So we have these two type of constraint uh, for the ragdoll simulation. That's so important to know. So what we need now we need a solver constraint to have uh, to manipulate this constraint at the top uh, network or the top level okay we have this uh, movement of the sphere and let me show you here let's create a sub solver for constraint solver that's acceptable by the network uh, constraint and let me disable this internal relationship and everything working but uh, the pin is not uh, working here that's because we need to have our original relations or this constraint this is here as you can see with all the needed attribute let me bring it here and connect it to the output here and let me show you and voila everything it's working with this set up at the top level okay now we have this crowd simulation with this sub solver constraint and now we're going to attach uh, this sphere using dop import to import it at the sub level at the sub solver okay and we have the sphere as you can see and let's create a merge node here as you can see we have these dots represent our uh, uh, relationship or constraint network for the agents here and let's merge it together and you see that we have something going on here and let me show you something let's uh, create add node here sorry add node uh, we want to create a line or simple polygon between points here let me show you for instance i'm going to select this one let's select this one okay and this one of the sphere and we have this line let let's go to this skip to n and you see that if you have an issue please uh, move the timeline and the data will update automatically and now let's create attribute create a constraint name we need it as a string primitive name pin we are pinning this uh, object together and we have we need another uh, attribute name constraint type of course is primitive and string and that will set that to all uh, type okay you see that we have this line let me show you this spreadsheet you see that we uh, create this attribute as a pin and this line will connect this agent as you can see with the sphere you see that but let me show you something tricky here. As you can see, let me pin the top network here. And you see that? Always uh, manipulate this uh, slider here to have this uh, connected constraint uh, enabled. And that's so important. I stuck with that for forever. And as you can see, uh, this agent is not pinned to the uh, sphere and the movement totally that's because we're going to uh, manipulate this one as you can see the override uh, constraint let's make it one here and <laughs> that's working <laughs> i love it and yeah you see that and that's the basically the whole setup and let me show you uh, something here if you want to add another agent here you may need to create this add node here and for instance i will uh, add this uh, agent uh, leg and pin it to this sphere here and let me show you you see that 
that's nice it's working and be aware this is a manual approach to create this line one by one but if you want the procedural approach i set up this scene as you can see and uh, by the way this scene is available on my patreon let me show you let's go to sub solver you see that let me walk you through my setup i import this constraint and this sphere i subdivide that i measure the distance using this distance from geometry and i have this distance uh, sorry distance attribute contain the distance between these nodes between the sphere and the agent i fr froze it with this uh, shift uh, time and i copy it as a dist number two you see that and let's go here i then uh, delete uh, sorry i keep the nearest point to the sphere here and let me show you the sphere setup here i measure the distance here and of course i froze it too and i keep uh, the nearest point okay with this expression and i have a connectivity to have uh, this in for each loop and I want to keep one point remember that we need one point to create uh, our final line and then I connect that to connectivity to have this class pieces or pieces uh, name here you see that every point considered as a pieces now let me turn off this grid here to see that uh, clearly pieces number one two etc and i want to uh, let me show you here i want to have uh, these pieces or this node let me create merge here i want to have a group one by one as you can see this nearest point i want to draw a line between this nearest point here you see that if i draw a line here that's not going to work so i instead use i first froze this uh, point here this is sphere point and i transfer the pieces or the class uh, attribute to the agents node as you can see you see that we have this point grouped by each other and i fit i fed that to the uh, this for each and I create this add you see that add a node here to create this line that's what we need here and I merge that with the rest of the point because we need uh, the original constraint and you see that everything working nice here as you can see this is a procedural way and that's the right way to do this and if you have a uh, many crowd you definitely you want you don't want to draw the line one by one because the crowd is too many so this scene is available on my patreon please check it and check the uh, setting and let me show you this scene is uh, obviously as i said it's procedural if i move uh, the sphere you see that sphere or any object it will have our consent and as you can see that's the final result and i guess that's it guys have a good day take care goodbye